I am a lover of cinema. I believe, and this is my opinion, that cinema is the highest form of art that there is. A glimpse of what's possible, a, a, a taste of our divinity. A great film is, as they say, truth 24 times per second. Now today everybody's talking about mindfulness meditation. Everybody's talking about the importance of learning to be present, learning to be in the here and now, to let yourself become immersed and enveloped by the power of the present moment, right? And look, conventional forms of meditation work for many people and I commend these practices as therapies that focus your attention in the here and now. But for movie lovers like me, I believe the ultimate form of meditation is watching the cinema. I believe when you watch movies, consciousness meets its own process. I believe that when you get immersed in a film and you assume the viewpoint of one of the characters, you effectively step outside yourself. I also believe that when you watch a film, you actually take a journey within, right? You are the characters and they are you. And the contemplative introspection, the self searching that happens as the story unfolds on screen is a very powerful, almost supernatural experience. Space, time, and mind invert and collapse. You know, a movie may only be empirically 120 minutes, two hours by the clock, but when you're inside the film and you're looking not at the screen but into the screen, time no longer exists. You are in a meditative trance. And during these moments of complete immersion, when you are enveloped in that other world, that absolute unmixed attention becomes a form of prayer. You heed to it, you submit and surrender to it. And you are cleansed because it's a psychic car wash. It defragments the hard drive. It's like a total immersive flow state. And when you come out of the movie, oh my God, it's like you've been cleansed. You've had catharsis. You've experienced the mythological motif. You've taken the hero's journey. And this, my friends, is a kind of cosmic baptism. It's like a bath in the ocean of the holy. Every time a film envelops you, every time you become one with the movie, you've had a transcendental meditation. This is what I believe. And this <laughs> is why when people tell me, oh my God, you gotta get into mindfulness meditation and this and that, I tell them it already exists. It's called cinema. And on top of that, it throws a beautifully patterned story for good measure. So not only do you get to meditate, but you get to go on a fucking journey of ecstatic illumination and pop out on the other side and say, thank you. I am so glad that movies exist. So that's what I think about cinema as meditation.